Is that your mom? My own dessert. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. So I just started the recording, and so good morning, everyone. We're going to be starting our mentorship uh, sync up this morning. So this is a group where we get together to look at how well we are leading other people, uh, currently interns, but also open up for anybody who is curious about leadership. So as as we have it so far, I believe everyone here plus Teddy are involved in leadership activities. Nadine will be leading today's discussion, and we'll uh, we'll take a look at how Nadine leads us through the scrum. So Nadine, bring us through. Okay, thank you, sir. Okay, good morning, everyone. Morning, Nadine. Um, yeah, so yeah, welcome to leadership mentorship development meeting uh, this morning. Um, I will be the chair for today, and I would need some uh, one secretary, right, sir? Yes, you will. You probably will need a secretary to help. What are the uh, duties of the secretary, Mrs. Chair? Sorry, sir. What will be the duties of the secretary, Mrs. Chair? Uh, uh, the secretary will uh, will you know writing the meeting notes of today and also writing uh, like the the outbreak meeting or the the update uh, the depending update about someone's card. Nice. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Okay. Um, so I will be the chair and the secretary could will be Jing. Yes, all right. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay, I will start. Um, let's start from the first card, which is from Katlilis. Katlilis, I see that you have two cards here, mentorship development and also technical communication and private card perfection. Uh, maybe start from LE.1.1, .1, mentorship development. Uh, over to you, Kalilis. Do you have any update about uh, regarding your mentorship and about your mentee uh, this week? Uh, okay, thank you for uh, sorry, <laughs> thank you, Nadine. So uh, actually, my update was uh, only uh, first regarding the meeting, uh, the chairing quality. Uh, we haven't know yet because because I think to today Frida will be the chair. So. Uh, today uh, I will observe it by today, and then uh, for the uh, for the Gojek data science uh, what is that professional networking? It runs pretty good, and uh, uh, Vida also uh, by her own initiative posted a uh, what is that a post on LinkedIn appreciation post and. Uh, I think uh, she's quite uh, on the line where uh, she began to do the professional networking. I also read uh, Jing's suggestion here to strengthen the quality, uh, so, sorry, to strengthen and also uh, give Sri the chance to develop in the professional networking because maybe uh, the, first uh, the first trial for uh, professional networking is pretty well. So maybe this is one of her capability actually. Nadine, thank you very much. Nadine, you're muted. Okay. Okay, thank you, Kalilis, for your update. Um, okay, uh, that's uh, pretty good from uh, the update about Frida. Uh, so you have uh, no friction for now about the mentorship uh about mentoring frida so far kalilis um maybe uh i i need to uh, what is it no I, I don't think there's so much friction but uh i mean uh the progress for another project uh such as make listing on traveloka it is still ongoing and uh i will i think today will be uh, i will observe it again because uh i actually i need her to hurry up and making the listing because this is mvp uh, but uh, actually until now she haven't finished it yet so uh i'll observe on that actually oh okay so was, uh, maybe about uh, i don't know uh what is the uh, their, uh her other activities actually but 
I think uh, this is important to prioritize the travel log itself to uh, to make sure that the project is worth or not. So uh, we can know that we should pivot to another project or uh, continue this project. So that one, Nadine, thank you. Okay, thank you, Kalilis. Okay, that's uh, the update for this one. Uh, let me move to this one. Is this your card, Kalilis? Right, HRC.1 technical communication and pivot card perfection. Um, yeah, I, th I think the, the, the details of the card is not complete yet, or do you want to uh, give the update about this one? Mm, I, I actually, this is, I think, uh, Jinx created this card, but I haven't uh, asked it to you, sir. So maybe, uh, do you have anything in mind? Yes, ma'am. I think this is actually already in progress, unless you've created a new pivot card based on a revised uh, layout, right? For oh, hypothesis, yeah. intended yeah. outcome, background. So this has actually happened already before we before we even complete okay. the project definition here. So I think we can actually move this. I'll move this over to Dunn. Uh, sir. Yes. Actually, uh, I make it. Uh, I make the recording and also make the template. But actually, I only use it on revenue management first. But I think it's it's good to uh, put this here first, and I'll complete the card, and maybe I'll uh, show everyone uh, a brief explanation about that. Excellent. Uh, I think that's a great idea, Lewis. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Maybe that one. Uh, the updates from this card. Okay, uh, then over to you, Jing. Uh, could you please tell us more about uh, this card and the yes. background and everything? Yes, Mr. Chair. So we've been noticing that there's been frictions in project management. And after speaking with a few experienced professionals, I believe a lot of that friction relies on our, it, the root cause of it is defining a problem and understanding if our project is actually solving the problem. So we took a few uh, important notes from Bayou, but also from Scott, also from Shaffrey last week, about how to create better prioritization by defining the problem better. So Lewis has created a new card that essentially takes our existing template cards and enhances it. And I think there's possibly another enhancement opportunity by adding some of the elements that we have in project management cards about defining the problem. So this is an initiative we want to circulate through the rest of the company so that when people set up their projects, they will be more focused and be able to prioritize better. Okay, uh, that's all, uh, sir? Mm -hmm. That's it, yeah. Okay. Okay, great then. Uh, this is uh, basically a good card, I mean the good, the good topic for us in the mentorship development uh this is, should be uh used for everyone in mentorship right sir or do we have to uh create this uh similar card to everyone here actually mrs chair thank you for asking that question it's a very valuable question so i believe what we can do is willis is trying out the mvp right now in the revenue management chapter and upon Let's say greater success. I can take it upon HR to uh, to propagate this method out to everywhere else. So yes, you can bring this template back to your chapter and use it for creating new pivots. Oh, okay. I see. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, okay. Um, maybe this card will uh, support another. You know the previous the previous card that we have also the. Uh, at HAR, uh, which is Tandy and Lilis, the champion, to communicate about the pivot and uh, yeah, the the car, pivot card perfection. Excellent. Okay, that's good. Um, thank you, uh, sir, for bringing this up. And I hope everyone, uh, uh, this is helpful for everyone. Mm -hmm. And okay, let's move to this is Kiki, but we don't have Kiki here. And also, the card is have no update. Uh, okay, just move to Aldo. Uh, this is LE.1.3 mentorship development as well from Aldo. Um, your update, Aldo, over to you. How is Aldo doing? Okay, uh, thank you, Mr. Chair, for the time. Uh, my updates here is I 
created a um, fixed schedule for body pairing with Hasbi. It's uh, Tuesday 11 p.m. and Friday 4 p.m. So uh, the reason the reason that I choose to create it two times a week is because so the so the uh, so if if it's if if it will be like the um, like daily pairing, it will be like uh, there's not much thing to talk about. Uh, but but if we um, cut it out to like two two times a week, uh, it will be like uh, the discussion is more like the discussion is uh, there's many things to discuss. That, that's basically and and me and uh, Hasbi um, agreed on it on Tuesday and Friday, and also about his um, about his project. Um, Hasbi already uh, had the access to Strikingly, and I believe that uh, he already um, launched the article um, on last uh, Saturday. But and I will ask him to track the SEO for for his um, uh, keywords. Uh, I don't really have updates for his uh, professional net uh, professional networking outreach since uh, my last body pairing is on Friday and. In, in, in Saturday, we were just talking about the strikingly about the article, so uh, we don't really talk much on uh, about the uh, professional networking, and also about um, from our last discussion about the creating the goal for um, for the card. I will I will um, discuss with him like um, to to create the goal of of each cards that that he's been working on to challenge him. And for the friction, I think I just also um, know that he has a bit, uh, his, I think he is now working on his thesis proposal. So uh, I, uh, for the time, for his time management, I think, I, I think it will be like a little bit rain because it, it is due on early August, means like a week, a week again. So yeah. I will uh I will uh I ask him like to to do his uh time management more clearly. Yeah, back to Mrs. Chair. Okay, thank you Aldo for your update. Um so yeah, uh, do you have any friction on mentoring Aldo? Uh who is that again? What's the name again? Hasbi. Yeah. Mentoring Hasbi so, so far. I think uh, I think uh, not really about um, the discussion. I think it's it's uh, it's very it's been a good discussion and a, a good body, uh, body and but but yeah but I think the, that that type, that friction about the what his thesis proposal I think will will like um, ha create his time management more like uh, a bit a little bit ruined. So, okay. Yeah. So, so time management. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, I will. Yeah, I will ask him to like um, do his time management more, more properly, more mm. better. Okay. Um. Uh. Maybe if you already know what kind of methods for for Hasbi to, you know, to fix his time management. You can also write down in the comment section and also maybe uh, bring it up to the discussion management so everyone can see uh, your method and gets in, get inspired maybe, maybe, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, thank you, Aldo, for your update. Um, uh, any discussion? no okay then move to my card uh this is uh le.1.2 mentorship development nadine uh uh i'm mentoring caroline so i will give the update about uh about how is caroline doing uh so far so um so far i see that um uh caroline is actually doing pretty well in the tasks that i give uh, about uh more about hr task and reservation and and everything uh, you can see also the 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 subjects on the hr materials competency that i have created for her and then um but uh like few days ago she met 
a, a little mistake about on replying uh, review. Uh, this is uh, which is uh, what is that bad review on lot six, uh, lot six villa. So um, yeah, I I I address it as a fail fast because uh, before the before that uh, you know before that case, I already give her um, I already give her about bad min bad review management uh mentor 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 mentoring se uh, session and then i also already show her about um you know how to uh, really detail to bad review and yeah and then she do it uh for the first time uh she got bad review and yeah that's i think that's the maximum capacity of her for doing that in the first time and yeah it's not uh i already saw the discussion and me too uh uh i think that's it's too generic uh i i should i should i suppose to yeah attach the screenshot here uh, sorry and then yeah it's too it's way too generic um yeah but i think it's a cease failing fast and we have a uh, pairing again after that about bad review management and also me and Sandy uh, working on making a diagram about uh, ref bad review management and how to reply a bad review uh, which is will be helpful I hope in for the future candidate and also for everyone here to remind about bad review management it's very crucial and then uh, now she is focusing on her research plan but she has got back to me like yes in the saturday she uh, she, she was asking about uh nadine uh what if i want to create a new card i mean a new initiative so uh based on her question i think that she is actually preparing some new initiatives but i don't see new initiative for until now in in HAR board and also uh, for her research plan now she is working on collecting feedback on the first draft of the guidebook and it's actually uh, she's actually need all 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 of HAR team uh, which is and Min and everyone in HAR to collecting her feedback the you know the the due date is actually yesterday but she took a day off yesterday so maybe i will i will see her update uh today for uh for her research plan for the new pivot card about the feedback uh by today at nine web at hr scrum and i will have body pairing with caroline today at 12 uh web about HR and finance coordination because she's uh, she says that uh, she's still confused about uh, these materials. So yeah, uh, basically that's all the update about my card. Any discussion? Okay, no? Okay, thank you everyone. Um, yeah. Uh, I put a comment on your card. Wait. Maybe you can ask her what is right in and tell her we're going to to so. Yes, sure. We'll do cut and be. Thank you so much for your suggestion. Um, uh, any other discussion? Any uh, Mr. Chair, you're muted. Okay, welcome Kagani. Good morning. Okay, Kagani. Since you're here and you also have a card today, um, yes, sir. Uh, Mrs. Chair, I'd like to actually. Uh, we have a we have a slight uncertainty here, which is both Tendi and Gani have joined us for the mentorship um, discussions. So previously, uh, both Tendi and Gani actually do not have mentorship cards. So I think the very first thing that both of them can do is let we can first let's let's maybe expand the scope of what we're doing here. So not just mentorship, but just leadership in general, right? If you're leading anybody and you're having any questions about leadership, 
then this is a good opportunity to learn. So then the next steps is Tendi and Danny are both for project management, which are kind of different subjects at the moment, which we discuss on Tuesdays and Thursdays. But for the moment, let's have them be our guests, I think. And uh, when Tendi and Gani, uh, I would encourage you guys now to go and create new cards based on the template on this board and uh, create them for mentorship and leadership. So when you're leading people or you're working with other people that are looking to you for guidance, then you can write your cases of what that would look like, yeah? So, okay, all right, cool. Um, and Mr. Chair, I think we're ready actually then to go on to the discussion section. I've taken some notes as a secretary. I'm also taking some opportunities to open up a few, I think, juicy topics to discuss about. Okay, then, thank you so much, sir. Mm -hmm. Okay, everyone. Um, yeah, welcome Katendi and Kagani again. Uh, we will move to discussion management as the mentorship cards already been discussed here. Already, uh, everyone has already give the update. So I will share my screen. Wait. Okay. And we move to discussion management. Okay, wow, so many topics for today. This is from Jing. Um, okay, over to you, sir. Actually, uh, which topic that you want to discuss first? Before we take up too much space on the board, I'd just like to open an opportunity for other people, too. Um, these are some topics I thought of right off the bat as I was listening to the notes, but I'd actually like to open up and see if there's any other topics that anybody has in mind. Uh, we'll open the floor for maybe 10 seconds for those ideas. Does anybody have any else they would act, like to add to the discussion board in addition or instead of the topics that we have currently? Um, okay. Um, maybe from Kak Tendi and Kak Gani, uh, maybe you have some topic to bring here. I'm curious about how to measure the progress. Mm, very good. Okay. Yeah, I think uh, uh, I will. Uh, for now, there's no topic yet from me. But yeah, uh, I interest with the how to measure the progress. Okay, all right. Uh, Mrs. Indeen then. Uh, Mrs. Chair, I'll go ahead and open that discussion. So let's see. Uh, measuring progress is actually a really important thing, and it's actually a little bit difficult to do as a mentor, uh, unless we have defined our project well, and unless we have set milestones and stages on the way. So uh, it's, it's actually kind of a physics problem in a way, I believe. Um, Let's let's go around for some ideas. Uh, Lilis, Lilis, you're an industrial engineer. So in industrial engineering, how do we measure progress of a system? How do we understand if a process or a system or a particular thing is getting done correctly? Um, actually, uh, there's no such like um standard for. I mean. Not, not the same for every project, right? So uh, measuring progress means like uh, measuring the KPIs, right? So uh, from my opinion, when we want to start a progress, then uh, we have to set the KPI. I mean, uh, what is the the measurement that uh, this, pro this process uh, is called efficient or not? So uh, for example, like uh, the Facebook ads, when the results, uh post the first uh facebook ads uh, the viewers and only like 200 and then uh the second one is like 1000 perhaps so uh from that kpi that we determine in the beginning we can show uh, we can see that which pro uh, which um which steps progressing a lot and which steps is efficient so uh it is depends on the project for example like uh for example uh 
the proposal for market build uh, for property owner for acquiring property owners so uh there is some steps that we can use this proposal whether these proposals can uh, attract people to get inquire uh, to send inquiries and then whether we can plan uh into meeting to owner i mean uh, with market bidding to owner or can convert into what is that uh partners so it 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 uh, represent how successful our media or uh, our tools that we use so it really depends on the project from my, uh from my side sir oh excellent okay all right great all right um uh, let's see great good 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 good, good. let's go over to gunny gunny well how would you measure progress wait i'm not leaving this meeting Nadine's leaving this meeting okay over to you Nadine. <laughs> Okay, uh, thank you, sir. Okay, then, uh, yeah, over to Gani. <laughs> over to Kagani. Um, so far, how do you measure your mentee's progress? Um, how to measure uh, mentee's progress? Uh, uh, I think same thing with uh, Lily said that uh, since beginning, we, we have to uh, set the kpi first what is what is the kpi what is the the goal and after that i see their action i see the action and uh actually every every week i will i will uh check uh the, the progress is it is it uh progressing or not so so yeah but on the on the detail i still uh, yeah you know, a, a little bit confused what what is the the metrics that we use to check every 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 week or every month so so yeah that's it okay thank you kagani so from your answer i see that basically you already know about you know setting the kpi and then uh checking in every week and we'll check and everything but uh since you also raised this uh what is that raise this topic discussion so maybe i assume that these uh, methods are still makes make you not really sure about the progress right kagani then yeah um okay over to you jing <laughs> do you have any suggestion on this one Sure, I'd love to actually talk about this. So I think progress is two things, right? Progress is how much uh, meaningful work is done. And you have to also think about how much budget is spent, right? That is what progress is. I don't think progress is ever a single dimension. Let's say, for example, going back to this, this uh, example of a Facebook ad. If, let's say, we had 200 viewers, uh, and then we got a thousand viewers, but we forgot uh, to measure the time, then that might not be progress, right? Let's say we got a thousand viewers, but it took us a year, but then we took 200 viewers and it took us a day. So I think this is pretty important. And this goes back to uh, who was talking about time management. I believe Lil, uh, Aldo, Aldo, sorry. Aldo. Aldo was talking about time management. If you want to actually manage your intern's time or your the person you're managing's time, manage their time budget. That's the easiest way. So instead of saying, I need to know your schedule, I need to assign this to you, just assign a time budget for a certain amount of work to be done. Now, you're going to have to make a guess in the beginning. You're going to have to say, all right, this project, I'm going to assign a time budget of three days. Can you get that done in three days? And they'll go, okay, I'll try, boss. And then I think what you can do in the middle is – all right, can you give me two or three checkpoints on the way to show me that you're making progress? Like what would be the middle step and what would be the next step? As a leader, I think this is actually pretty important. Um, you can ask for, ask, negotiate for time budget and then ask for checkpoints, okay? So Aldo doesn't know Haspi's schedule. It's not Aldo's job to be Haspi. It's not Aldo's job to figure out like what's going on in Haspi's life and all that. Like that's not really the point. The point is Aldo will set a time budget. He'll go to Haspi and say, Haspi, you have this project. How much time do you think you need on it? And Haspi will say 40 weeks. And then Aldo will go, 40 weeks is way too long. We can't give you that much time. Would you be able to do it in one week? 
And then, then you start the discussion, right? Then you really start visualizing that process. That's really important. That's exactly what Safri told us, that most of the project is done in the initial conceptualization, the visualization and defining the problem. Oftentimes we skip over that part. We say, okay, go ahead. And we don't assign a time budget. We don't visualize what success looks like and we don't set milestones. So I think the simple thing to fix here can be sit down with your intern, negotiate a time budget and ask them, what do you potentially see as a quarterway milestone, as a halfway milestone and as a, almost a finished milestone? And don't stop discussing it until those milestones have been picked up so that that way you know what the progress is. You can go back to the person you're managing and say, hey, do we cross the first milestone? And the person will say, yes, okay, all right, then they're making progress, right? Uh, that, I think, is how uh, we, we actually manage time. That is a skill. That is not something we'll, I expect everybody to just go and be able to do right away, but that is the correct way to do it, okay? Okay, then, um, yes, thank you, sir. Uh, maybe back to Gani. Do you got the answer already? Okay, so what the takeaway that I got is uh, we need to we need to negotiate the time budget that, uh, to be honest, I never had before. So basically, uh, when the mentees has a project and they set the time and uh, basically, I just, just okay, go for it. Uh, I will talk, we talk, negotiate. So, so yeah, that's that's my takeaway. Thank you, sir. Yes. Also, Kagani, milestone and yeah, checkpoint. It's also uh important to uh measure the progress. Okay. Yes, uh, sir. Nadine, actually, I, I like this topic so much. Could I actually do an example from, let's say, Lilith's case? Because Lilith was also measuring progress for her intern Frida's situation. And I heard her talk about uh, that it's important and it needs to make progress and it's important to prioritize. So let's take a look and actually figure out how we would actually practically do this, yeah? Okay. Okay. So the way I would do it is let's 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 run a simulation here and I'll pretend to be Lilith and Lilith will pretend to be uh, Frida, right? So let's, let's give this a simulation and see how this works, okay? Okay. okay. So, uh, Frida, all right, I see that you have a particular goal. What is your goal, Frida? Uh, yeah, actually, my goal is uh, because I see the, uh, what is that, the existence of local uh, tourism now, since everybody wants to go out, so especially in Georgia, mm -hmm. uh, because I stay here. So I'd like to uh, try to use the Traveloka, since it is the most popular platform that I use, uh, that. Indonesian people used to book uh, accommodation, so I'd like to uh, uh, to make uh, to make a uh, like two listings to test whether it works or not on Traveloka because actually uh, the implementation is uh, relatively hard because it is not connected to Tokit. So I'd like to make MVV first uh, first uh, to check the market. Okay, thank you very much, Lilith. I really like that you're having initiative that you've thought of this discovery that there is an opportunity here. But let me ask you, um, in addition to the activity that you'll be doing to making two listings, what type of success, or what would indicate that your idea is successful after you make these two listings? Um, yeah, actually, uh, I'd like to budget my time to, uh, I would like to work with content team to make the listing, uh, like, uh, I budgeted like a uh, maximum of three days. And then after the listing is published, and I would like to see like uh, about one week. Uh, it's it's just observation. So uh, it, I, I can use uh, my time during that one week to do another thing. So uh, maybe uh, three days again, I'll finish to work on this uh, pivot uh, from the previous research that is uh, a word to try actually to do MVP. So uh, after one week, if I uh, haven't got like one booking for uh, each one, uh, each listing, mm -hmm. I mean, uh, for one of the listing, uh, I'd like to turn down this idea and uh, I've got to a new idea. Okay, what I'm, what I'm hearing Lilith is that you want to create an MVP, you're creating two listings, you're gonna work with the content team 
And your end goal is to get one booking on each listing. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. And if you got one booking on each listing, would you consider this MVP successful? Um, I'll see uh, the value also, the value of the booking uh, and the, the time. Uh, for example, like uh, the bookings value is 500 rupees, uh, like uh, after after three days listing. So uh, the value will be different for uh, bookings that happen in seven days. Got so, it. Okay. Uh, I'll, make the, I'll make the, what is that, the measurement again uh, later, but uh, that's the consideration of the okay. measurement. So it sounds like you want a KPI that's some sort of revenue divided by some sort of time, right? Is that correct? Yeah, I I guess so. Uh, and also, I think I need to what is that measure the the budget that we uh, that we that we spend because uh, what is that the commission for Traveloka is a little bit higher actually mm, uh, for the other one. So. Uh, yeah, I think so. Uh, it will be also my consideration. Okay. Look, I, like, I like that you're prioritizing, you're thinking about these things, but let's for the moment just focus on the feasibility of the idea, right? I like how now we are discussing and we're negotiating a KPI. Sounds like we've agreed that there should be a budget around a certain time, right? I need to know how long do you estimate it will take to get us, let's say, $500 every week? Uh, so... Can you explore more, sir? I don't sure. really understand. Just earlier, I heard you say that you were targeting, it sounded like a target to me, of about $500 every three days or around a week. I think that's a good idea. I think a weekly sales rate can be a very good KPI to target to see if your initiative is successful. Do you have any idea of how long it would take to reach that target? Um. Uh, actually, I don't have an idea, but uh, as I, I said in the beginning, uh, where maybe I will only observe, uh, maybe it's too short for one week because, uh, yeah, uh, it's hard for, for example, like, uh, I'll budget like two weeks. Okay. Um, it's it's only observation actually, that's two weeks, so uh, yeah, two weeks, I think, enough, but I don't have any prediction of. Uh, when I can uh, get like five dollars. Okay, this let's do this then, Lilis. Since this is our, uh, let's do this, uh, Frida. Since Frida, this is your first project, and I would like you to create a shorter span timeline, right? So you have two listings mm -hmm. right now. I would like you to focus on this. I'd like you to focus on your first milestone to get the listing up and created by the content team. I'd like that to be done within the next two or three days. Okay, and after that. I'd like you to work on a weekly sales rate of, let's say, $100 a week. So that's very, very slight. And if by, let's say, two weeks' time, you can show, or let's say within, not two weeks because that would be too long, but let's say within one week's time, after creating the listing, you can see that it is picking up $100 a week, then I think that would be a pretty good indicator that the project is successful. In the meantime, after you start this running, I'd like you to also focus on your next idea so that you set a few ideas in parallel. Does that sound like a good idea, Lilis? Or Frida? Yes, uh, sure. Uh, it will be good, I think, yeah, since the, the next seven weeks uh, after I land the listing is the observation part. So I need to get another idea to work on it, actually. Thank okay. you very much, sir. Okay, all right. So let's go over to Tendu. Tendu, what do we do there? That was that was just an attempt, right? I don't know. Like, we, <laughs> you know, we, uh, how, how did we do there, Lilith? How did you, did you like that? Was that was that a good process for you? Uh yes, I I think so because uh first you try to uh what is that to explore what is Frida's uh, idea and what is the plan, what is the understanding regarding the idea, and then uh you uh you define her idea and also your suggestion for that and yeah it, it's very cool because maybe uh when i'm uh mentors uh i don't have any i mean uh i don't think that i will uh ask that deeply i mean for the kpi and uh etc and it's a good process i think right because we learned from shafri that that's exactly what good leadership is yeah good leadership is really thinking and prioritizing and getting that problem really well defined yeah. so that when we execute we don't have you know this this oh what we're we supposed to really do right we we know clearly when we're going to check in we know what the first checkpoint is 
right? We know what the end goal is. And we also know when to quit, right? We know that we've put this budget of time on it and this is the result we're looking for. And that way we have that awareness too. Tendi, what do you think about this particular idea? Uh, yes, I think this is uh, great. It's so we know like uh, the clear the clear goal and then what is the 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 things that they want to achieve as well so and then make like uh the about the consistency like yeah, the above from the first answer then we 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 give the following question from the first answer then uh, so we can we, we know like uh, okay so actually uh, everything is already on their mind and then just need to visualize and then practice, uh, execute here. Yeah. Right. And you can write this on your Trello card as a checklist now too, right? You can write checklist, first milestone, right? Get the get one listing listed. Second milestone, get weekly sales up to $100 a week. And that's easy to measure. That's something that's pretty easy. And then going back to Aldo. Aldo, if we had that, would it be easier to monitor your person's progress? And would it be easier to check the person's time management? I think we might not have Aldo there. <laughs> Let's go to Gani. Oh, oh my God, Rizal's here. Rizal, hey, wow. How did I not see you? Rizal, uh, welcome. Yes, yes, sir. Okay. Uh, do you think that would help in terms of time management now? Would it make it easy for you, let's say, leading a team or leading another person to manage their time? Yep, uh, I agree with uh, the uh, idea of uh, using checkpoint. Also, um, uh, when we uh, set the checkpoint at, at the beginning, we we can also measure uh, measure the progress and then uh, measure the uh, is that the the timing is uh, that the, is that the correct timing of of this uh, mentees uh, growing up and then also uh, showing the um, the more impact on that on that project also. Okay. All right. Cool. I realize this has become a project management discussion now. <laughs> but uh, but I guess I guess that is a cornerstone of leadership these days. Back to the chair. Okay, thank you so much for the discussion, sir. Um, yeah, that's that is really good. Uh, what what I think is um, yeah. First, before we set the time budget for the project, we need we need to understanding what is the project that our man is doing, and also. I like how Jing is actually uh, not setting the time budget for until the goal, but also time budget for check one checkpoint to another checkpoint. That that's really detailed, and yeah, I think that is uh, really helpful for us. Um, that's uh, about the measuring the progress. I will um, I will move to another topic which is uh, this one. I, I like this one, <laughs> facing uncertainty. <laughs> OK, uh, over to you again, Jing, uh, about this topic. Absolutely. Very happy to participate. So on facing uncertainty, I think it's actually very normal as a leader when you go about to feel uncertain about what's going to happen. So it goes back to understanding what you control and what you don't control. And this relates back over to like what Aldo had just mentioned earlier. Like, you know, how has got other things happening? He's working on his thesis. Aldo doesn't really have control over that. But Aldo does have control over budgeting, right? So Aldo can budget, I need you to get this done within five days, Haspi. And then you don't need to micromanage. You don't need to go inside and unpack what's going on, right? Haspi, can you do this in five days? But this negotiation process is actually pretty important in the very beginning that Aldo and Haspi have to both realistically agree on a goal. Tendi did a very similar thing by setting a goal for his squad. And we took a look at the numbers, we saw what was possible, and we added a little bit more based on what we think that inquiry performance improvement could do. So I think as a leader, this is where a lot of your control lies in, in the budgeting. This is why leaders control budgets, right? Um, your budget is ultimately your control over performance. You set the time budget, 
and you set whether or not you're going to give more budget to somebody. If they haven't done it, then you say, no, there's no more time. This is it. Uh, you've had your shot. You need to move on to the next idea. I see this in particular in, let's say, Caroline and Nadine right now, right? Because Caroline keeps on extending her deadline. Nadine has control over how much time budget that we're going to allow. We can say very frankly, hey, look, you've exceeded your time budget. We've extended it once. No more, right? I need you to start thinking about something else. Or you can keep on adding that budget. But don't get into a sunk cost fallacy of I've already spent two weeks on this. I need to spend one more week and then it will fix. Generally, if the project isn't showing enough progress, if it's not showing enough results in the beginning, it probably won't show results later on as well, no matter how much you throw into it. So this is your control budgeting. Use your budgeting control well. Okay. Um, thank you, sir, for uh, the discussion. But uh, maybe uh, speaking of budgeting, we can also uh, move to your, uh, this one, uh, budgeting for failure and for success. I think this is also interesting topic, sir. <laughs> okay, thank you. Does anybody want to hear that too as well? Budgeting for failure and budgeting for success? Lilith, uh, does that sound interesting to you, Lilith? Okay. And, yes, sir. I oh, think it's Perfect, perfect. I was speaking with Tendi yesterday about this particular idea. Now, when you budget, you should budget for failure and you should budget for success, meaning you don't go into being a new leader being a new project manager, doing new things with no budget for failure, meaning that you should not expect everything to work perfectly. So you need to have a budget for failure. So let's say, for example, you have 40 hours a week, and that's that's what you should use, right? You know, don't keep on going overtime 80, 100, 120 hours a week, right? Let's say you have this 40 hours a week. How much time are you going to spend on failing projects, and how much time are you going to spend on successful projects? Now, it's up to you, right? You decide on how you want to budget for that. If you want to budget 80% of your time on failing projects, then be prepared for more failure, right? But if you want to budget 80% of your time on promising projects that are showing progress, that are having accelerating KPIs, then you'll probably have much more impact. You need to budget some amount for failure, because if you don't, then you'll never really innovate, right? If you just stick to, hey, this has worked before, I'm just going to keep on doing this forever, I'm not going to budget anything for new ideas, then then you're going to get kind of stuck. And we've seen that happen a lot of times with people who, you know, they, they can't grow into leadership roles. You're not budgeting any time to fail at being a leader, right? Or fail at doing the next role that, that Book of Vista hopes to transform you to. So you need to budget some time for failure and you need to budget some time for success. So that's what I mean. Uh, not 100% of your things are going to succeed. And you need to say, hey, look, this isn't successful anymore, but my budget for failure is over on this one. And I will spend the rest of my time working on other things that have more promise. So I think that is an important concept. And I see that happen because people, people seem to be feeling like, oh, this is out of my control. I keep on having to spend more time on it. It never seems to actually produce results. I must spend more time on it. So if you have KPIs, if you have progress, you could say, all right, my metrics divided by my time, did I actually hit it? No. Okay, then it probably won't feel very successful. Even if it takes you two years to reach the metrics, you'll be like, that wasn't a very successful idea. It took me way too much time budget to get there. So, okay, I think everyone nodded their head, so that's a good sign. But that means it's more clear. Okay, then, um, yeah, uh, budgeting for failure and success. Yeah. Interesting. Thank you so much, sir, for bringing these uh, topics today. I, I, I think that uh, we need to, um, yeah, th that's all for today. Uh, we can uh, discuss about uh, the other topics uh, the to the next meeting. Oh, um, Nadine, so one, more, one more thing. Yes, yes, sir. Uh, let's get feedback to each other before we, we, we stop, right? So if anybody has any feedback on anybody's cards, now would be a good time to practice your discovery skills and also your understanding of how good leadership works. Okay. Sure. Um, let me share again the, the board. 
Okay, so um, maybe start from Aldo. Do you have uh, do you have any feedback for Lilith? Um, uh, let me review again the part of Lilith. So, <clears throat> so from from the Frida's idea is. Uh, about the travel, I think it's it's a it's a really great experiment, and to see that uh, whether that we have that we that whether the channel is uh, is useful or not. But um, for the yeah, I think for the like for the setting the CPI and the, the milestones will be you know, a great a great thing to to mention whether the the project is uh, going. Really going well or not? Yeah, I think I think that's I think that's how for the feedback for it. Okay, thank you, Aldo. Um, maybe uh, to me, uh, um, my my feedback, my comment about uh, Lily's cards here. I believe Lily's is really structured on mentoring mantis. Uh, I see that on the on her update and everything, she always break down uh, anything that she thinks that it's, it's important. And also, uh, yeah, actually, uh, from my side, I got inspired a lot from you, Kalilis. So I think, uh, yeah, uh, keep on the keep on the great work. Um, yeah, I hope Frida is also being an unsuccessful mintis here. Um, okay, uh, maybe from anyone, do you want to give the feedback from anyone? Maybe from Jing? Sure, okay. Since we don't have too much time, I'll go over quickly and just uh, subscribe feedback, right? So, um, well, I wrote a comment on Lilith's card as part of the process. So, I hope to see Lilith use these points on Frida's card by the next time we sync up, right? So, that will be a good checkpoint. If Lilith puts these ideas onto Frida's card, then that would indicate that Lilith has actually understood how to lead somebody else to. So uh, I put that there as being really conscious of what we just spoke about, right? Being self-conscious, Nadine's smiling. The next thing I want to actually mention is on Aldo's card. Aldo, I think you have a pairing session with uh, Haspi, and I want to commend you on that. That's good. I like how you're monitoring and pairing more frequently. But there's no intended outcome, and it's not clear what is supposed to happen after the pairing. So that is setting budget, but without setting a result. What do you want Haspi to do after you spend this time with him? So definitely be more clear about that. I think that's also happening with Nadine too as well with Caroline. Um, you, you're setting some pairing time, but also what is what is the result? And I think every meeting should have a result. Like. The result of these meetings is hopefully that everybody here becomes better as a leader, right? And we can see it by tracking your cards as well. If you're getting more, um, if you're getting more progressive, this is also important. Uh, whatever you do, please document it somehow. Otherwise, it'll be hard to keep track. So this goes to what we were talking about in the DM um, day, and Gunny, Aldo, and Rizal uh, were there for the measurement strategy. If we have a good measurement strategy, then we will have an easier time measuring progress. And as part of a leader's job is to have to take a good measurement strategy. That's the two things that I saw. And thank you, Tendi, for offering that uh, that piece of advice as well for uh, for Nadine on her pairing session today with Caroline. I think that's that's good. What is her new idea? Uh, so that gives that particular meeting a, a purpose and an intended result. Otherwise, I think everybody is uh, is doing good. I think we're conscious of what the techniques are, but it does take courage uh, to actually implement it. So I hope everybody will be the hero and just uh, give it a shot. Don't worry if, uh, if 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 it doesn't work accordingly. You can come back and tell us, "Hey, look, I tried it, and this is my my result." And we can try to fix it here at the next mentorship session on Wednesday. Back to the chair. 
Okay, great. Thank you so much for the feedback. Uh, I think uh, it will be useful for everyone here. And yeah, uh, wish us luck <laughs> to be the good mantis, a better mantis in every day. A, a, a better mentor, <laughs> sorry. Okay, then. Um, thank you guys for attending the meeting. And uh, I'll see you guys. Mr. Yes. Chair, the next chair, please. Oh, yeah, sorry. I always forget it about. Yeah. Okay, the next. The next chair will be Ara. Mm -hmm. And then the next secretary will be Lilis. Okay. See you on the next leadership mentorship development meeting, which is on Wednesday. Okay. Bye, everyone. Bye bye.